Hello folks, it's Anahita Rao. I am going to speak about um, the yearly forecasts uh, today. Um, I'm going to go over some trends for 2019 and um, then I will also give you a general overview of, uh, of your sign. Remember this is a general forecast uh, for each sign and I would advise that you listen to both your moon sign as well as your rising sign. Um, and again, this is according to the sidereal and not the tropical calculation. So please check your sidereal sign for this. So the big question is, uh, as usual, should you see the transit from the ascendant or should you see it from the moon? Uh, now remember, ascendant stands for the intellect. It stands for your personality your intelligence. Um, so the effects that you experience are going to be visible and can be seen by everyone. Whereas the moon, everything is happening at the mental and uh, the emotional level. Uh, so it will be more hidden, more personal, uh, more internal, um, and sometimes more painful. Uh, so it may not be visible to the world as it can be shielded by you. Now, what your dasha will promise um, is going to take precedence and priority over any of the transits. So, for instance, if you are in the Saturn dasha, uh, then I would place more emphasis on the Saturn uh, transit and um, see how it impacts you um, and, and your life. Um, now, of course, the biggest news this year is the movement of Rahu and Ketu. Uh, Rahu has um, suffered uh, for the past um, three years in, in Cancer and Leo, um, as well as uh, I would say Ketu uh, as well, um, because they were transiting through their enemy signs. Uh, both the sun and moon are the node's uh, biggest enemies. And Rahu will finally leave on March the 23rd to go into Gemini, a sign where it does exceptionally well um, and it's very comfortable here. This will bring a relief in um, policies related to immigration, international trade, um, foreign deals, all Rahu related uh, matters. Um, and Ketu, of course, is going into the sign of Sagittarius, which is Jupiter's sign. A really beautiful place for, for Ketu, and it does very well there. Um, of course, we have Saturn here as well. Um, and in fact, uh, we all know that there will be a big Saturn and Ketu conjunction coming up in 2019. Um, the months to really watch for are July, August and September. Um, although I would say uh, keep a watchful eye uh, from the months of um, anywhere from May till, till October. Um, but the summer months will be the most intense and you will really feel it then. Um, another period to be watchful for this year is uh, the period between June the 2nd and June the 16th, um, as we have a Mars-Rahu conjunction then, which is a very, very close conjunction, um, particularly given the fact that there will also be at the same time the opposition, the exact opposition, in fact, between Mars and Saturn on June the 14th. Most important retrograde this year is that of Saturn from late April till mid-September because this will directly impact the Ketu and Saturn conjunction. Dual signs are going to experience the most dramatic changes this year. Uh, the dual signs, of course, are Gemini, Pisces, Virgo and Sagittarius. So if you have your sun, moon, or even your ascendant in any of these signs, then you're going to really feel the impact this year and there will be a lot of changes coming your way. So what is happening for Aquarius? Uh, for Aquarius, uh, the year 2019 will be fairly good overall, um, as you will have a lot of planets uh, going through your 11th house. So a lot of focus will be on achieving and uh, simply just getting things done. 
Uh, Jupiter is transiting through your 10th house till November and will bring all sorts of blessings to your career. Um, you will try to do something big in life. Uh, your image and status uh, can also get boosted. If you're planning to become an entrepreneur, this is an excellent time to, to look into that. Um, it's a great time for seeking any sort of a mentor to help you. Uh, for the three weeks um, in late March, uh, Jupiter goes into your 11th house. You will get a taste of that energy. Um, this particular time will be very eventful for, for you as Jupiter here can um, help you achieve a lot. Um, Saturn remains in your 11th house all year, which is positive for, for all aspects of life. It's, it's a fantastic place for Saturn. Um, there would be um, ample financial gains um, to cover up the previous losses that you may have suffered. Um, your relationship with your spouse and all your loved ones will remain cordial during, during this time. And um, there will be respite in, in health matters that, that you may have been experiencing. Um, and this is also a positive period for uh, job prospects and a really fantastic position for um, career and uh, income matters. So the period to be watchful for, as it is for all the signs this year, is um, between May and uh, mid-September, as the K through and Saturn conjunction will be very close. Um, so I would say be cautious, avoid big changes at this time and making any sort of big decisions. The big news is uh, Rahu moving into your fifth house in March, uh, which can cause some anxiety. Um, Rahu is a planet of uh, intensity and, and, and passion. Um, so sometimes this can create powerful attractions uh, to people. If this happens, uh, there can be a feeling that the relationship is fated, um, that you've been together in a past life, for instance. Um, it is especially good for um, creativity, all kind of creative endeavors. Um, it's good for writing and a variety of uh, certain, uh, a variety of technical and, and creative modalities. Uh, so you can develop those areas of your life through the Rahu transit um, through, through Gemini. Rahu's aspect to your first house will make you feel this, the desire to reinvent yourself or to project yourself in a different way. And um, you will feel quite independent uh, during this period and will feel less inclined to, to go with the flow or, or to go with the crowd. Um, overall, it's a good year for you. Uh, just be watchful, I would say, of the summer months, again, between uh, May till uh, mid-September, especially if you are in a, uh, in a Saturn or a Ketu uh, Dasha. Um, but all the best to you.